Hare Krishna everyone, welcome back to the daily readings of Srila Prabhupada's books right here in the live studios in Hive, Kent, Southeast England, just near the English Channel. We call it the Haven because Hive in Anglo-Saxon means Haven. And we're making it a Haven by reading every day Srila Prabhupada's books. Well, I missed one day yesterday, but in general, unless there's some emergency, every day. Okay. We're a little bit late today. We had a little hectic day yesterday. That's why I missed yesterday's reading. I had a slight accident, fall, and uh, hurt my knee and put a little, in case you didn't notice, a little bit cut of my eye and a couple of other things. But it's not the end of the world and I'm back in the game. So, And also our dear Abhai, Brahma, Abhai Das Brahmachari was not allowed to come back in for his third uh, trip in and out. So that's a source of great anxiety for us, but it's providential, it's Krishna's arrangement. We have Sham Kishore here, and uh, he's wonderful. So Krishna makes all arrangements, providence. Providence is doing everything. Srimad Bhagavata Mahima Stotra. Uh, five wonderful verses glorifying the Srimad Bhagavatam by Sanatana Goswami. They go like this. Sarva Shastrabdipi Yusha Sarva Vedaika Satpala Sarva Siddhanta Ratnaja Sarva Lokaika Drikprada O nectar from the ocean of all scriptures, singular fruit of all the Vedas, rich mine of the precious gems of all conclusive truths, you are the only giver of sight to all the worlds. Sarva Bhagavata Prana Srimad Bhagavata Prabhu, Kali Dhanduddita Ditya, Sri Krishna Parivartita. O life heir of all the Supreme Lord's devotees, O Master Srimad Bhagavatam, you are the sun risen in the darkness of Kali. You are the exact image of Sri Krishna. Paramananda Pataya, Prema Varshakshadayate, Sarvada Sarvasevyaya. Shri Krishnaya Namostume. I bow down to you who are supremely blissful to read. Your every syllable pours down a flood of prema. You can always be served by everyone. You are Shri Krishna Himself. Madeka Bando Matsangi, Madguru Man Mahadana, Manishtadagamad Bhagya. Mad Ananda Namostute, my only friend, my constant companion, my spiritual master, my great wealth, my savior, my good fortune, my source of ecstasy, I bow down to you. Asadu Saduta Dayin, Atini Chuchita Kada, Hanamun Chikadachin Mam, Premna Rit Kantaryospura, O bestower of saintliness to the unsaintly. O exalter of the most fallen, please never leave me. Always appear in my heart and my voice with pure love. O bestower of saintliness to the unsaintly, O exalter of the most fallen, please never leave me. Always appear in my heart and my voice with pure love. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So Gopakumar uh, has met his disciple, the Brahmana from Mathura, on the order of Srimati Radharani, and he is in the process of telling him his story. And the rest of the book will be the story of Gopakumar. How he attained perfection. We're starting with text 156. He has come to a, 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 a saintly king with a large kingdom and he's experiencing uh, what it's like to be the king because after taking a liking to Gopakumar, he was who was young boy. And he had no issues, the king. 
He had no son. So then he died and he left everything to Gopal Kavar. Fate. Providence. But Gopal Kumar, although he liked it at first, now he's feeling a little dissatisfied because all of the management that he has to do. So, <clears throat> he's found another reason not to be completely satisfied. Mind you, please remember that he met his spiritual master in Vrindavan, in Raj, and he gave him the mantra, ten, ten, ten syllable Govan mantra. But he didn't tell him much, didn't instruct him much. He was absorbed in his own ecstasy. So now he's noticing something about the brahmanas and the worship in this king's uh, temple. And so we start with text 156. If the Supreme Lord's remnants were touched by an outsider or carried outside the temple, or if for any other reason a doubt arose about the purity of the remnants, no respectable person would eat them. Commentary. Gopakumar certainly would have tolerated any trouble arising from serving the Lord. But the serious objection, objections, and the, but the serious obstructions that appeared in Gopakumar's devotional service provoked him much more than the petty complications of royal politics. The Brahmanas of this region were very strict about the flood they accept, about the food they accepted. They would not accept Lord Vishnu's prasad if it had been touched by anyone other than an appointed servant of the deity or taken outside the sacred area of the temple. These Brahmanas cited the tradition of cultured behavior as evidence to support their scruples. Their predecessors had never accepted prasad that it in, this, in these ways been contaminated. Real Brahmanas and Vaishnavas there, however, become unhappy to see such behavior for them it is difficult to live in a place where such disrespect of the Supreme Lord's prasad is promoted. Furthermore, their opinion on this matter is supported in scriptures such as Sri Brihad Vishnu Purana. O twice born, one should never question whether remnants of food and drink offered to the Lord or of the universe are fit or unfit to eat. One should never make such distinctions. The prasad of the Lord is as un incorruptible <clears throat> as the Vedic mantras and Lord Vishnu himself. Those who consider whether the Lord's prasad is eatable or uneatable will suffer leprosy. They will not lose their children, they will lose their children and wives, O Brahmana, and go to hell never to return. Text 157. Such darts shot into my vital points made me want to give up, give everything up. But I had no desire to leave the Lord whom I had long hankered to see and whose personal contact I had now obtained. To see the commentary, to see the leaders of society refusing Vishnu's prasad was more painful to Gopal Kumar than the wounds <clears throat> of self, of well-aimed arrows. One who, was, one who was cut at a major junction of the subtle channels carrying prana feels excruciating pain. But the pain of having to watch and tolerate aparads in the service of Lord Vishnu was more painful for Gopal Kumar than such a wound. He lost whatever enthusiasm he had for continuing his involvement with ruling the kingdom. But he could not leave Lord Vishnu. Text 158 Just then, some venerable saints from the south arrived on pilgrimage and told me this. Commentary The saintly pilgrims were Vaishnavas from Jagannath Puri. For a while, they had left that holy dam 
to see Lord Vishnu's deities and devotees elsewhere, mostly in the various Tirthas. <coughs> Text 159. At Purushottam Chetra, on the blue mountain on the shore of the salt ocean, Jagannath, the Lord of the universe, the personality of Godhead, is present as the absolute truth manifest in wood. Commentary Within the holy dam called Purushottam, on the, Lord, on the shore of the salt ocean, is a district called Nilachala. And there the Supreme Personality of Godhead is present as Lord Jagannath. He is called Daru Brahma because he is the absolute truth in wood, Daru, and because he destroys Dharanat, the miseries of material existence. He is described in a number of Puranas, for example, in the Padma Purana at Sri Purushottam, on the northern shore of the ocean, reside the Supreme Absolute Truth, full of perfect ecstasy. He has assumed a transcendental body that appears wooden. And in the, and in the Brihad, Vishnu Purana, in the land of Orissa, on the blue mountain of Sri Purushottam, Chetra, the ecstatic and all spiritual Lord is present in wood in his form known as Jagannath. Text 160. With infinite opulence, that Lord himself rules the kingdom of Utkala. He displays his unique glories and always takes affectionate care of his devotees. Commentary Utkala is another name for Orissa. Lord Jagannath himself rules this kingdom by issuing various commands and guidelines for the citizens' conduct of business and personal affairs. As the Tatpojamala states, In the Utkala kingdom in Bharat Varsha lies the earthly heaven of Purushottam. There Lord Jagannath <clears throat> appears in a wooden form. Taking up human-like activities, <clears throat> he bestows a fearlessness on his devotees. He is the only giver of liberation. Lord Jagannath displays his own glories, <clears throat> such as his kind compassion on unfortunate souls, especially affectionate to his servants. <clears throat> he never takes their offenses seriously. <clears throat> Text 161. <clears throat> After eating food cooked for him by his consort Lakshmi, the all-merciful Lord distributes to his devotees his own remnants, which are available in Nilachala, and even though demigods, his, his own remnants, which are available in Nilachala, even though by demigods they are rarely obtained. Commentary. The remnants from the plate of Lord Vishnu are extremely difficult to obtain. But in Nilachala, after the goddess Lakshmi personally cooks for Lord Jagannath, the Lord eats each preparation and then freely distributes his remnants to his devotees. Being all merciful, Lord Jagannath sees to it himself that all his devotees obtain his Mahaprasad. When everything cooked for the Lord is offered before him in many clay pots, sometimes he eats only a little of the preparation, sometimes he eats everything and then miraculously refills the pots. 162. That food is called his Mahaprasad, be it touched by anyone or brought anywhere without discrimination. The devotees eat it. 
commentary. The Mahaprasad of Lord Jagannath is unique because it has been touched by his nectarian lips. It can never be contaminated even if touched by an unseeable or, or untouchable person or carried to an in, unclean place. No decent person ever refuses to eat Lord Jagannath Mahaprasad or complains that it might not be pure or that the time is improper to accept it. It is said the food that Lakshmi cooks and Lord Purush, Purushottam eats should be accepted without consideration. Without consideration of its being touched or untouched by anyone. It is as pure as Lord Vishnu himself. Iskanda Purana, Vaishnavakanda 238.16 adds, Even if Lord Jagannath Prasadam, even if Lord Jagannath Prasad has completely dried up from sitting for a long time or has been carried to a far distant place, if eaten in the proper spirit, it will surely drive away all one's sins. According to the Bhavisha Purana, even if the food eaten by the Lord of the Universe has been touched by outcasts, those with no caste, or by those born in mixed castes, still it has the power to destroy all sins. In the words of the Tatvayamala, O best of kings, one should never be concerned whether someone has touched Lord Jagannath Prashad. If persons unfit to take part in Vedic sacrifices simply touch this prasad, they become completely sanctified. And according to the Garuda Purana, O Brahmana, there are no restrictions about when to accept this prasad as there are in the observance of vows like Chandrayana. Whenever one receives Lord Jagannath Prasad, one should eat it at once if one wants to attain liberation of the soul. Text 163 Oh, that holy Chetra is so great that even the donkeys living there have four arms. Anyone who simply enters that district will never take birth again. Commentary Some may doubt the claim that Lord Jagannath Prashad is so special. Those doubters should be informed that Lord Jagannath's abode is even more special. Even lowly animals like donkeys who live there are forearmed for they have automatically achieved the perfection of Sarupya, having bodily features just like the Lord's. This is stated by Lord Brahma in the Brahma Purana. <clears throat> Just see how great is this holy abode. The demigods in heaven see that this chetra for ten yojanas on all sides, everyone has four arms. Everyone living there appears with hands, holding a conch shell, disc and lotus. The demigods in heaven are constantly bewildered to see this. And Sri Narada says in the Vavritya Parishishta, all the results there are seen. All the residents there are seen to have four arms. Furthermore, simply by setting foot in Purushottam Chetra, any living being coming from anywhere is freed from having to take another birth. This is confirmed in, by Sri Vedavyas in the same Vavritya Parishishta. This holy Chaitra, where the Supreme Truth is present in his pastime of having a wooden form, bestows liberation upon all men who simply touch it. Even if someone has been de dedicated to sinful behavior for many hundreds of lives, <clears throat> by merely coming into contact with this chetra, he will take birth in the company of Lord Vishnu. Text 164 
a mere glimpse of him whose eyes are like lotuses in full bloom grants the ultimate goal of life. Such wonders I heard which I had never heard before. Now this is, this is Gopal Kumar saying at the end of this sentence, a mere glimpse of him whose eyes are like lotuses in full bloom grants the ultimate goal of life. So then, he, then Gopal Kumar says, such wonders I heard which I had never heard before. Commentary. <clears throat> the personality of Godhead The personality of Godhead may be visible elsewhere in other deity forms, <clears throat> as indeed he is on the shore of the Ganga in the kingdom where Gopakumar was now living. But the beauty of Lord Jagannath is unique, so exquisitely charming in his beauty that by seeing him merely once, one feels relief from all miseries. That a glimpse of Lord Jagannath is enough to perfect one's life is stated by Sri Narada in his talks with Sri Prahlad in the Padma Purana. The glories of the Lord, which are partly perceived by methods like hearing, are openly visible on the peak of the Blue Mountain. Any human being who sees that Supreme Being will go to the abode of Vishnu. What to speak of a great soul like you? As Gopakumar heard from his visitors, these glories of Purushottam Chetra and more, wonder arose in his heart because he had never before heard anything like them. Although, this, although the form of the Lord that Gop, Gopakumar was worshipping was the same personality of Godhead, Lord Jagannath is the origin of all such incarnations of the Lord. From seeing the source of all incarnations, especially at such an exceptional place as, as Purukshottam Chetra, one can gain greater benefit than from seeing a mere incarnation. Gopakumar had not heard such facts about the Lord in all the days he had been worshipping Lord Vishnu on the shore of the Ganga nor had he developed firm attachment to worshipping the Lord's deity that this was a combined influence of his divine spiritual master and the divine personality of God it will be explained more clearly later in this narration we shall see how Gopakumar's guru and Gopakumar's worshipable Lord continually exert their influence on his step-by-step -step spiritual progress. Text 165 <clears throat> Overwhelmed by desire to see Lord Jagannath, in a moment I abandoned everything and set off in the direction of Orissa, chanting Lord Jagannath's glories. Commentary Gopakumar was so inspired by the glories of Lord Jagannath and the Lord's Chetra that he gave up all external and internal affinity to the kingdom and everything related to it. He at once began his journey to Jagannath Puri, heading off in the general direction of, Ut, of Orissa. While on the road, he constantly chanted the four civil, syllables of the Lord Jagannatha. Jagannatha. Four syllables of Lord Jagannath's name. 166. I quickly reached that holy district of the Lord. Bowing down to all the residents, by the mercy of those saintly persons, I was able to enter the temple grounds. Commentary Since Gopakumar was a foreigner 
and no one knew what his business was, his sudden appearance on the temple grounds might have aroused suspicion. The pure Vaishnavas of Purukshottam Chetra, however, welcomed him kindly. They recognized that he had come to receive Lord Jagannath's mercy. Text 167 Text 157 167, sorry. From a distance, I saw the moon-like face of Lord Purushottam. His broad eyes shining brilliantly. His forehead decorated with tilak made of gems. His complexion glowed like a cloud full of rain. And the effulgence of his dawn-soaked lips was all attractive. Moonbeams of unlimited satisfaction emanated from his smile, adding to his beauty. Commentary The round face of Lord Jagannath is easily recognizable even from a distance. It gives joy to everyone, just like the full moon. Gopakumar had been meditating on the general features of the Lord's face even before seeing him and now he could see the details of the Lord's beauty for the first time. Text 168 Struck by the ecstasy of pure love and impeded by trembling in my body, I was unable to go forward despite my desire, but somehow I reached Garuda's co uh, column my hair standing on end, my vision clouded by tears. Commentary Gopakumar was eager to enter Lord Jagannath's temple but had difficulty proceeding. Because his mind was overwhelmed by the love, by love and by his body, by the... Mm, Hmm. Gopakumar was eager to enter Lord Jagannath's temple but had difficulty proceeding because his mind was overwhelmed with love and his body by the ecstasy of Jadya being stunned unconscious of his own movements only by the Lord's mercy did Lord Jagannath reach the column on which Garuda sits before Lord Jagannath's altar Texts 169 and 170. I saw Lord Jagannath bedecked with jewelry, divine garments and flower garlands. The sight of him increased the pleasure of my eyes and mind. As he sat playfully on his lion throne, he ate the wonderful varieties of attractive food being offered to him. With love he worshipped, worshipped his devotees <clears throat> With love, he watched his devotees busily singing, dancing, playing music, offering prayers, and bowing down to him. Seeing that supremely splendorous pageant bewildered me, and I fainted and fell to the floor. Commentary From his vantage point near the Garuda Stamba, Gopakumar could see the details of Lord Jagannath's beauty even more clearly. It proved too much for him to experience all at once. Text 171 I came to my senses, opened my eyes, and gazed upon him again. Like a madman, I ran forward quickly to catch hold of him. 172 I cried out, Now I am now I am seeing what for so long I have wanted to see. From today my life is real life. I have obtained the Lord of the Universe, my Master. Commentary Previously, Gopakumar had never felt fully alive. But now, after seeing Lord Jagannath, he considered himself 
delivered from the living death of material existence. Repeating himself out of sheer joy, he declared that now he had not only seen the Lord of the universe, but come into intimate contact with him. In Lord Jagannath, in Lord Jagannath, he perceived for the first time all the characteristics of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Text 173 Just then, the guards struck me with their sticks and stopped me. Realizing what I had done, I felt embarrassed. This is the Lord's mercy, I reasoned, and went outside where I received remnants of the Mahaprasadam. Commentary Being struck by the sticks of the doorkeepers brought Opal Kumar out of his trance. He thought, here I am, an insignificant foreigner, behaving with such impudence. What am I doing? But despite some physical pain, Gopakumar was not at all unhappy. Shall I repeat that? But despite some physical pain, Gopakumar was not at all unhappy. He was still overjoyed to be in the realm of Lord Jagannath. The Lord had kind enough, been the light, the Lord was kind enough to arrange for the guards to stop him. Because he had embraced, because had he embraced Lord Jagannath as he had intended, he would have committed a serious offense. Coming, calming himself down, Gop Gopakumar went outside, where a compassionate person gave him Mahaprasadam from the Lord. So we're going to stop here. It's a few minutes early, but. Uh, I need to make it shorter. Thank you very much. If there's any reflections or comments or discussion, please be my guest. Rajimanjari said, Ogurmach, please take care. Oh, Rati Manjari, I am taking care. <laughs> I will read it again. I will read it again. But despite some physical pain, Gopakumar was not at all unhappy. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Noel Kreva said, Hare Krishna, dear Maharaj, please accept Mahabharu obeisances. Standing. Sending you infinite healing prayers and <laughs> also praying for Abe Abai Das Prabhu. Thank you for your steadfast service to continue to deliver this well, message. Thank you for your blessings and thank you for your encouragement. Everyone needs encouragement. Hare Krishna. And then also say, Maharaj, I was appreciating today the glorious description of Lord Jagannath and how one glance of him can bring you back to God. I remembered reading recently that it was at the lotus feet of Lord Jagannath that Srila Bhakti Santa Saraswati Thakur was placed. It was then that his father knew his son was special and would preach Krishna consciousness. May we all be delivered from the living death of material existence. Thank you very much. We will accept those blessings with glee. <laughs> and I thank you everyone for your sensitivity and your understanding. I really do try to continue these readings no matter how I'm feeling or what happens and living in the material world, especially when you get to be almost 75 years old. This is my 75th year. Uh, yes, it can be daunting sometimes, but it's not touching me. Please believe me. It's not touching me. So another comment from Vamsi Vamsi Vilas Prabhu. 
Bangsi Vilas, Baba. Haribo Maharaj, thank you so much for reading. We sometimes discriminate about Prasadam having made the heartbreaking decision to sometimes fade away so as not to make devotees sick. Will we get leprosy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't eat too much, then you won't get sick. Yes, we should. Oh, actually, we shouldn't discriminate when. See, we're thinking sometimes this devotee is off the wall or he's got some kind of problem and therefore he's cooking and offering. Therefore, the. the no. The per anybody who's initiated, this is why Prabhupada told us nobody should cook for the Lord without being initiated. Because when you are initiated, then your spiritual master is offering through you. So we should see it like that. The prasadam at any temple in, in Iskon, even if it sometimes isn't the best material quality, which it isn't sometimes for one reason or another, still, it's being accepted by the Lord because it's being offered by Prabhupada through us. Hare Krishna. But if the prasadam is like old, Jagannath Prashad, I mean, we we break a, 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 our Akadasi, every, every Dwarasi, with a little dried rice from Jagannath Prashad. Mm. Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. What a blissful reading all about the glories of Lord Jagannath and his Mahaprasadam. I remember that I had some Jagannath Mahaprasad in my house and I hastily went through my cupboards and blissfully took some Mahaprasadam. Yes. Jai Jagannath. That is the correct mentality and the correct achar, proper activity, proper way of entering into pure devotional service. Mahaprasad Govinde, Namam Brahmani Vaishnava, Salpa Punya Matam Rajna. Vishvesho Naivajayate. The, the Mahaprasad of the Lord, the, the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord, the Lord's, Lord's the lotus feet, the, the water that's washed at the feet of the Vaishnavas, these things are nectar, pure nectar. We should not earn the right to misunderstand by discriminating and seeing them from an eternal material position. Hare Krishna. I'm going to go now. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone. Shri Vriyat Bhagavatam Rita Ki Jai Sama Veda Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bo See you tomorrow same time place same place same subject The Prem to 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 the prem, 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 to the prem. And it keeps getting more and more. It'll fill up the house. Then it'll go bursting out the doors and windows to everywhere else. And a tsunami of love of Krishna will inundate the world and make everybody dance in ecstasy. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ki Jai. See you tomorrow. Hare Krishna.